Hi everyone, this is Priya from Feathers and Ferns and you all are welcome on my channel. So today I am going to do a video tutorial on how to eco dye papers. So I have collected a few leaves and flowers and stuff from my garden. Because we are in the middle of winter so we don't have much. But I managed to collect a few uh, green leaves and, and these pretty pink flowers and a few lavenders so the first step to eco dyeing is you just collect flowers whatever you have in your whatever is accessible to you i prefer taking the ones which are greener and fresh rather than uh, the ones that are more towards pale or which are already dying so try to collect more of fresh leaves and then i have this big pot of water it has around uh, two and a half three liters of water I did not really measure it accurately but it's around two and a half three liters of water it's just room temperature water and then I have alum alum powder and I'm going to it's around a tablespoon maybe tablespoon one tablespoon one and a half tablespoon I, I'm really not very specific like with my measurements here and this goes into water and I'm going to just give it a good stir. It dissolves very quickly in water and then once it dissolves all these uh, all these leaves and what paper like the flowers and everything it goes into it goes into this uh, it goes into this and we are going to leave it like this sitting here for maybe two hours if more that's also fine but at least two hours you can leave it for like five six hours but I suggest at least two hours you uh, leave this and if you feel that the water is little you can always top it up like really there is there are no rules so just uh, let everything soak and that is it so I will come back to it after two hours so guys I'm back and here are the the uh, leaves and uh, flowers that I was uh, I left them soaking here in this water with alum now I uh, have some of these uh, printer pages these white pages and I just folded them uh, folded them into half uh, and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to take take these uh, leaves and just like sandwich them here uh, just like randomly whatever uh, so this is like this and try to cover as much and then this gets folded and then I will uh, put some leaves here, some lavenders, so you just have to uh, arrange your, your leaves here, then take the next one, put it on top, I'm taking my you can use the whole you can use the the whole thing with stem or you can even uh, take the leaves apart from the stem and then just put them like this and like this and I'm folding it over so now because these leaves are in the middle of this paper so it's going to dye this side as well as that side so I'm folding it over then on this page again I'm uh, I have my leaves leaves if you find that your stem is too pointy then uh, just cut it off 
but sometimes these stems also give a give a nice impression let's see if this flower this flower can give us something i don't know i will just i'm just trying next paper open it up and here's my my leaf Holding it. So I have around uh, 15 pages here that I have stacked and there is there are leaves and flowers in each of them. Then once that is done, I am taking another sheet of paper and I am just putting this sheet of paper on top and then I am trying to wrap that around it. and while holding this i have taken another sheet of paper and i'm just going to wrap that around and i will mm, tie this whole thing using a big string so here you have to be a bit uh, Careful in tying this thing quite firmly. Right, and now I'm taking another piece of paper and just tying it one more time, just so that this, uh, uh, these leaves do not come out and the string again and just cut it and So now there is like this little bundle which we are going to dye. So I tied it one more time like this and this thing is quite secure now. So for the next part of this process I am in my kitchen and I have got the seam pot 
as you can see this was the same pot where I had soaked my uh, leaves and flowers and I want to cook my cook my uh, papers here <laughs> this is what I say I like to call it that I cook my papers and I'm just taking something which I'm putting on the bottom of this pan so that my papers do not come into contact with, uh, with the bottom of the pan directly otherwise the papers might burn then I have got this special ingredient which are pomegranate uh, pomegranate skin it also has got some seeds like just a few but that doesn't really affect anything and I'm going to uh, pour these pomegranate seeds here uh, sorry pomegranate uh, skin here and I'm just going to spread it here and then once that is done I'm going to take that uh, packet of paper that I had prepared and I'm going to drop it inside once it is inside that is fine I will, I will um, cover this thing with a lid and now I'm going to cook this thing on the lowest setting possible so guys it's been boiling I just took, uh, uncovered it and uh, took off the lid and this is how it looks it's been boiling from last two hours so now I'm going to uh, switch it off cover it again and I'm going to leave it overnight without disturbing so I, I will just put it away and I will leave it overnight like that so it's morning now and I like this thing these papers sit in this water overnight and you can see that the water has turned yellowish greenish in color that is because of pomegranate so let us see how these papers are that's one thing about eco dyeing that every time it is it is like a surprise <laughs> we don't know what is inside how these papers are going to look so I have got a few red cloths and I will I'm just going to put on these papers on it.
and so I just wanted to uh, uh, show you these papers that have dried now I left them uh, for air dry for almost uh, five hours and for the last step um, before I show you the final result so I want to iron these papers so now for the last step I'm going to iron my papers so what I do I keep uh, one paper at one time then I take a, a napkin I cover napkin on top of the paper and then I take my iron and it is on high setting but no steam so I do, you, do, you don't need uh, you don't need to put the steam setting on it uh, and just iron a little bit not too much because we, we just want to make these papers uh, look a bit crinkly let me just do it one more time ideally you, you you don't need too much heat near paper but because i'm keeping a napkin here so that prevents too much heat near the paper and just enough heat gets transferred down there right so that is how this paper is done and it looks quite good so let me let me do the same thing with the with the rest of the papers off camera so these papers are finally ready. Uh, I ironed them all and I just want to show you the final result. Uh, so this is that big leaf and I'm quite pleased with the imprint. And these purple ones actually, this is <laughs> this is quite surprising because if you remember I used those uh, pink flowers and I didn't expect them to be of this color and they ended up, I don't know if they did, they had a reaction or something and they ended up being like bluish purplish and look at these these lavenders just look absolutely stunning look at them so i'm quite <laughs> pleased with how the how they have turned up and even here these are these purple ones and bluish purplish ones are because of those uh, those uh, pink flowers this one got torn but that's fine uh, i will use this for collaging look at these little leaves here and this one these leaves get such beautiful imprints here also that's a big leaf and hmm, i'm happy <laughs> So some are darker, some are lighter. You know, that's the beauty of eco dyeing. It results are always surprising. So guys, this was my tutorial on eco dyeing of papers. I hope you like it. If you have a question, please let me know. I'll be very happy uh, to, uh, and I'll try to answer that. So uh, if you like this video, please like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel. That really helps me. So thank you so much. Bye.